Okay, hi everyone. I want to welcome you to a new video from runhorse.com sports. We're going to present the racing and analysis for Sha Tin Race Course for Saturday, October the 24th. We have 10 great races coming at you from Sha Tin, Hong Kong. Before I get started, I want to encourage everyone to please subscribe below if you haven't already done so so you don't miss any upcoming handicapping analysis and tips from our channel for all Hong Kong horse racing that includes Happy Valley and Sha Tin race course. Let's get right into the action. Race number one is the Wiley Handicap Class 5 Turf Course. 1400 meters is your distance. We like the number two horse that is for fun's sake Alexi Bedell for Casper Founds. Casper Founds took over training this horse from John Moore. He's had three starts this season. First time in the Class 5, and he ran quite well. Big improvement there. Finished second with Alexi Bedell aboard at 1,200 meters. Gets a little bit more distance today. Should work in this horse's favor. Like him on top. For second, going to go with the number 10 horse, Galaxy Emperor, Joao Marrera for Tony Cruz. And for third, going to go with the number 5 horse, that is a lucky a guy. You have Antoine Hamelin aboard that runner. Okay, takes us to race number two. That is the Hamilton Handicap. Class four event, turf course. Thousand meters is the distance. Going to take a chance with this first time starter here in Hong Kong. And that's Multi Moore. Karis Teton for Tony Cruz. Think this horse has some up top, upside potential. And a thousand meters. Could be ready to strike first time out. For second, going to go with this number seven horse, Sparkling uh, Dolphin. And wow, what an improvement. Got this horse at the 1,000 meters. Last time out, shot in. And wow, seasonal debut, 75 to 1, shocked them all. And looked like a good winner that day. So did not see any reason why he will not run well again. Maybe another price on this horse. And for third, going to go with the favorite, number two, that is Give Way Please, May Young for David Hayes. Okay, takes us to race number three on the card, and that is the Wiley Handicap, Class 5 event, turf course, 1,400 meters is the distance. Like this number 11 horse, that is Blazing Partners, Jerry Chow for David Ferraris. Wow, this young apprentice, Jerry Chow, he has been doing quite well using that weight break to his advantage and soon will be losing some of that advantage uh, getting close to that mark where he will uh, lose some of that weight advantage so looks like he has a quite a few live mounts uh, this afternoon last time was on this horse and lost by a nose so like him right back he stays with the horse so we go with blazing partners on top for second gonna go with the number two horse that is vital spring Tony Piconi is aboard of that one. And for third, we have, we like the number eight horse. That is Shanghai Dragon, Zach Aperton aboard that runner. Okay, takes us to race number four. And that is the Nelson Handicap, class four event turf course. 1,200 meters is the distance. Like the number one horse on top, that is everyone's delight. And he was a delight in his seasonal debut. First time in Hong Kong and this horse showed a good turn of foot was able to kick on late at the wire and to get up looked like he had plenty left in the tank so Zach Purton aboard also at the class four stays in the same class as well so like this horse right back another chance in the class four to get another win for second like the number four horse that is Courier Wonder Joel Marrera for John Size. First time in Hong Kong, that one. See what he can do. Been working well. And for third, gonna go with the number six horse. That is Hard Promise. The apprentice, Jerry Chow, has the mount. Okay, takes us to race number five. It's the Waterloo Handicap, class four event, turf course. 1,800 meters is the distance. We have two horses in the betting right now. It's Beauty Angel and Jimmu. Going to have to go with Joao Moreira's opinion in this one because he rode Beauty Angel last time out and he also rode Jimmu and he sticks with Jimmu. So, 
Going to go with this horse, Jimu on top. Going to trust Joao Moreira's decision for a Ricky Yu. This horse ran on a well last time out. For second, going to go with the number five horse. That is full power. Jerry Chow, the apprentice. He has a good book of rides today. Looks quite dangerous in most races. And for third, going to go with the number nine horse. That is Cheerful Star, Karis Teton for Frankie Allure. Okay, takes us to race number six. It's the Fife Handicap. Class three event, turf course. 1,600 meters is the distance. I like this number eight horse, Tempest Express. Has two runs in Hong Kong. First time out, the 1,200 meters. Looked too short for this horse. Finished seventh. Next time out, 1,400, close to finish fourth, up to 1,600 today. Picks up Karis Teton for John Size. Think he goes a little bit better, maybe gets to the winner's circle, hopefully. For second, going to go with the number one horse, that is Easy Go, Easy Win, Jerry Chow aboard that one. And for third, going to go with this... First timer, number four, Helen Wisdom Star. First start in Hong Kong, Blake Shin for Tony Cruz. Okay, takes us to race number seven. It's the Pit Handicap, class four event, turf course. 1,400 meters is the distance. Like the number 10 horse, that is so awesome. On top, Joao Moreira for a Ricky Yu. Joao Moreira was on this horse last time, had the mount, finished second, closed off well at the 1,400 meters, back aboard today, stays aboard. So 1,400 meters again, let's hope he can go one better. For second, going to go with the number three horse, that is Judy's star, Alexi Badel. And for third, going to go with the number six horse, that is Mighty Power, Zach Purton for David Hayes. Okay, moving right along to race number eight. It's the Bedford Handicap, class three, turf course. Thousand meters is the distance. Gonna go with the number nine horse. That is Good View Clerico. Zach Purton for Dennis Yip. Zach has a great record on this horse. He's ridden him two times for two wins. So you have to like that. He's perfect as of now. This horse, seasonal debut at the 1,000 meters, was ridden by Matthew Poon. Closed off to finish third by half a length. Now, Zach Purton steps aboard, knows this horse quite well. Look for a good performance. For second, going to go with this number 14 horse, Sparkling Knight. Dylan Moe is aboard for Ricky Yu. This horse at the end of last season... Showed a big, big improvement at the 1,000 meters. Sha Tin was a, a long shot winner in that race by a big margin. Quick time, 23 to 1 odds. So, seasonal debut, 1,000 meters. Did not see why he will not go well again. Lightweight as well. And for third, going to go with the number 11 horse. That is Flying a Genius. Karis Teton for Tony Cruz. Okay, takes us to race number nine, the Dundas Handicap, class three event, turf course. 1,200 meters is the distance. Like this number eight horse, that is winning a brew. Karis Teton for Frankie Allure. Karis has ridden this horse one time, finished second on him. Makes his seasonal debut for Frankie Lore. So like that. Going to look for this horse to run well. For second, like this consistent Lockheed. Number three, Zach Purton for Denny Shum. For third, going to go with this number seven horse. That is Ping Hai Bravo. Wagner Borges is aboard. Okay, takes us to race number 10. Should be quite an exciting race. The Argyle Handicap Class 2 event turf course. 1,400 meters and we've got two very good looking horses and they're going to go head to head in this one. So could be a very, very good contest. We have Mighty a Giant. He's the winner of four in a row taking on Sky Field, who is the winner of three in a row. So going to go with this number two horse, Mighty Giant. They both look pretty well, evenly matched. Get a little bit of better price on Mighty Giant. Zach has been aboard for his last four wins. Zach knows how to ride this horse and 
Seasonal debut, 1400 meters, was a winner. So one for one this season. Go with him on top over the six horse, Sky Field. Nothing wrong with this horse. Very, very good looking runner, Joel Marer for Casper Founds. Could be very exciting if they lock up in the stretch. Could be quite a good duel to the line. And for third, going to go with this 12 horse. That is Maximus. First time starter, Alexi Bedell for Tony Millard. Looks like a progressive type. That's how we see the 10 races at Sha Tin Racecourse this afternoon. Wow, should be some exciting racing action. Please subscribe below if you have not already done so. Ring that bell so you get informed when we have a new video out. Hong Kong Race Tips video. So please do that now and best of luck this afternoon at Sha Tin Racecourse. Cannot wait for the racing action.